down the hill is one of the many traditions that you'll see here at Clemson Memorial Stadium, the site of today's game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Fans are on their feet awaiting the start of this game as the players line up for the kick. He really got a hold of that kick. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. The quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. left finding his tailback knocked out of bounds at the 25 yard line he steps out at the 29 Complete, brought down, nothing doing. The offense didn't appear to be in sync on that series. This is the kind of solid, consistent play you look for in your defense. Let's see if the offense can follow it up. Doesn't look like he's going to have much time to get rid of this punt. Gets to about the 41-yard line. Boston College's coaching staff, they know they've got a star wide receiver. They know it's going to be a hostile environment. With that, we went to practice this week, Kirk. They had a crowd noise pumped up pretty good getting them ready for this game. Yeah, they've done everything that they can do to get this offense ready for a tough environment. They had the crowd noise all week long, making it tough to communicate for the quarterback and his receivers. Now it's here. Now it's the game. And we'll see if all that preparation pays off. One thing we know for sure, they want to get the football into the hands of this receiver early and often if they want to win this game. Second down and 12. Ball on the 40. Short pass, middle of the field. They'll bring him down around the 42-yard line. Defense did a great job of winning that series. That makes it fourth and eight. You're always looking for the home run return. The big highlight didn't happen there, but he still got him a couple yards. This is a fun game, and I think we're going to see a lot of interesting football before it's over. down around the 22-yard line. He's going to try and scramble, and he's taken down right around the 22-yard line. He's going to pick up less than a yard on the quarterback scramble. Great play by the senior linebacker to step up in traffic and make that tackle. Playoff quick enough. Delay of game. game. Offense. They'll line up for another third down Still play third down. because of the penalty. Well, here you're in a third down situation, and then someone makes a mental mistake. It makes your blood boil if you're a coach. The penalty pushes them back even more. It makes it third down and 15. 
Zips it to the back, and he's stopped behind the line. No gain on the play. That makes it fourth and long. It looks like they're going to go after this punt. And this one is a beauty. He drops it. I'll tell you, a few plays in football can test your concentration like returning punts. you got to see the ball into your hands while not worrying about being hit. The main thing is they got the ball back, and now they can go to work on offense. Every drive's important in a tie game. I look for both sides to come out with some urgency. He's at midfield, zips it to the tight end. He's tackled at about the 45. I think play action is a big part of this offense and what they're trying to do today. It's, you know, they're running the football and they're mixing in some play action. And what that does is it freezes the linebackers and the safeties and puts a lot of pressure on them to have to be able to defend both the run and the play action. And as a play caller, when I know I can go to play action pass, boy, I feel really good about it's getting my quarterback in rhythm, slowing down the defense and giving us a chance to make big play. And they make the stop right around the 44-yard line. Pickup of a yard for the tailback. And he's brought down there by the senior at linebacker. That won't be the last time today we'll be talking about this young man. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 44. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Throws into coverage, just picked off. He's at the 30, to the 10, touchdown! And he hits the PAT. like they're ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and he has it on the corner. Brought down at the 33. At the 30. Got to wonder right now which offense is going to open this thing up a little bit. I think the answer will be which offensive coordinator is willing to take a chance or two to try to open some plays up. Because right now, not only are they losing the battle up front, but they're really not testing the defense downfield at all. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. You know, you wonder about the mindset and the psyche of this football team. After the turnover on the last possession, it's going to be interesting to see what they're really made out of here. This is an important possession for this offense. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 46. Fires quickly to the tight end. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. What impresses me so much is the guy's vision. He read the coverage perfectly to find his man for good yardage. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Makes it out to about the 30. And a big run on third down. Anytime you can move the ball like this, you're putting a lot of pressure on that defense. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Close the fight. Oh, we had a pitcher's duel in that low scoring first quarter. 7 0, Tigers. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Three down, three down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Let's go. Uh -huh. 
Here's the throw, and I don't think he got anything on that. From the 29-yard line, it's second down. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun. Five wide receivers. Under heavy pressure. Looking for his man, incomplete. Setting up blockers or running backs. Got it on the screen. Touchdown, BC! They pretty much had their way with the defense there. Terrific play. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he tacks on the extra point. So a seven-play, 66-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. We're even at seven in this one. Looks like they're ready for the kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. Across the 30. The 50. And he's finally knocked out of bounds at the 39. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. And now he's got room to run. That's a great tackle at the 29-yard line. his way to about the 18. You talk about a dual threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. They'll give it off here. Nice run there. right around the two-yard line. He gets another set of downs and, more importantly, opens up a whole host of play-calling possibilities for the coaching staff. Touchdown, Tigers! Splits the uprights with the extra point. Clemson is lining up to kick this one off. Excellent kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. Tackle made at the 34-yard line. That's good for Short yardage situation here. It's second down and one. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Gaining four yards. That makes it first and ten. He's got it with room to run. And down he goes, around the 47-yard line. From the 47-yard line, first down. He guns it left side. 
And this one falls incomplete. He tackles him for a loss. Loss of three yards on the play. That'll make it third and 15. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 37. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Brought down at about the 39-yard line. I know the defense would have liked to have prevented such a big game, but the important thing is that they held and brought up fourth down. Gets out to around the 28. First and 10. Ball on the 28-yard line. for a loss. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Good tackle there in space. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. So the halfback picks up the first down there with that six-yard gain. That's another rush from this halfback. This time, he does a great job of finding the opening in the defense and picking up a first down. Nice run up the middle. Boston College will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. It's second and five here. Ball on the nine-yard line. Fires quickly. Touchdown. Well, it's all about the receiver on this play. He beat his man off the line and then ran a perfect route. All he had to do after that was make the catch. We'll be tied with the extra point. And he adds the extra point. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. tackle at the 18. Well, this is turning into a shootout here. Now, remember, the last time we saw this offense out on the field, they answered the bell and scored a touchdown. Can they do that now a second time? You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. The quarterback in the gun, empty backfield, five wide receivers in the formation. Quick throw, they'll bring him down around the 29-yard line. Five wide. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's leveled at the 39-yard line. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Fires out quickly to the tailback. He's tackled in the open field. Clemson's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run it. 
Fires out to his receiver. He's taken down at the 48. They come out in a five-wide set. And he's taken down around the 44-yard line. it out to his receiver in a hurry. The 10. And a huge touchdown play. And he converts the extra point. A seven-play, 81-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The score now, 21-14. He's to the 20. And he's taken down at the 24. Boston College is roaring back. They're within striking distance right now. Yeah, they've done a good job of kind of sticking with their game plan after a very slow start. Now you look up at the scoreboard, right before the half, you're right back in the football. The offense is coming out on the field, and they haven't had any problem finding the end zone lately. I, I think the defense right now is just sitting back on their heels. They're allowing the offense to kind of dictate things to them. And one thing is that any defensive coordinator would tell you in the country, you have to be the one trying to dictate things to the offense. So change it up. Try something different. If it's not working, you can't continue to sit back on your heels. And he's tackled in the open field. Fires it out. This receiving core runs some great routes, and that last play was an example of that. As a defender, it can be tough to match up sometimes. One more play now before we hit halftime, so they'll most likely throw one towards the end zone here. He airs it out. Intercepted off the tip. I'm sure both defensive coordinators will be going back to the drawing board in the locker room at halftime. 21-14, Tigers. We've played 30 minutes. Glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. David Pollock and I here in the studio to break down everything that just happened in your game. If you love or at least just appreciate great offensive line play, we're seeing it in this game. The pass rush has been completely negated, and I know that you guys on defense talk not so much all the time about sacks, but affecting the yep. quarterback. How big a deal is that? you got to find ways to make him feel uncomfortable, and you'd like to be able to do it with four people and not blitz and put your secondary at risk but sometimes when you're not getting home sometimes you got to bring a fifth guy and you got to bring guy maybe with a cornerback or a nickelback with more speed off of the edge right now what they're doing is not working they got to change it up maybe run some line games up front where people cross and stunt but you have to affect the quarterback if you don't want him to pick you apart david and i will stay locked in on everything going on in college football it's going to wrap it up here in the studio just about time to get you out to your second half brad and kirk ready with a call And we welcome you back to the action here, just about set for the second half. He'll return it from the ones. He's taken down at the 27th. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. That makes it first and ten. From their own 39-yard line, it's first down. And he shoved out of bounds at the 40-yard line. That's a That makes it second and eight. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five-wide outlook. Throws complete, and he's got space to work. He's knocked out of bounds right around the 46-yard line. That one goes for good yardage and a first down. Yeah, that's just a nice gain on second down. 
First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 46. Hands off to the right and is brought down in the backfield. You've got to admire the intensity that these linebackers bring to the table. As soon as he saw it was staying on the ground, he made a beeline for the ball carrier. Finds his man. First down. He gets hit out of bounds around the 30-yard line. First down. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 30-yard line. Two down, two down. Hey, watch the left, watch the left. And they get the sack. Absolutely perfect call by the defensive coordinator. He brought just the right amount of pressure from the right direction, and it seemed to confuse the offense. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Pressure coming, and the ball is loose. It's scooped up. That was a huge turnover. Yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop, and now you get the ball back with the lead. Well, this offense has found the end zone on their last two drives, and they're coming out on this one trying to do much of the same. Clemson is up by a touchdown. Makes the grab, and he's knocked out of bounds. Big play right there. And he's tackled at the 17-yard line. Sure bet to get six when you're this close to the end zone. And he hits the PAT. So a fourth play, 58-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. So the score now, 28-14. Sends it sailing downfield. He's to the 20. Tackle made at the 27-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Throws it in a hurry. He's tackled at the 31. Number 17 brings him down at the 31-yard line. From their own 31-yard line, it's second down. Handoff to the right. Makes it out to about the 40. Super effort by the tailback to pick up a nice gain in a first down. He's really a good looking ball carrier. About a yard there on the quarterback keeper. yard line. It's second down. Go 
complete. He's got room. He's at midfield. Tackle at about the 41. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. From the 41-yard line, first down. He fights forward to about the 40. And they get nice yardage on that run. So the quarterback keeps it for about seven yards. Third down. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He did not get to the first down marker. Out of bounds at the 24 yard line. That's good for a gain of nine yards. And this is the ninth play in the current drive. Run right side. Gets out to about the 21. That's a gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 21-yard line. Gives it right side. That's a great tackle at the 19. This turned out to be a pretty good ball game, and we've got one quarter to go. The Tigers lead it by two touchdowns. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Big stop, and it looks like they're going to get the football back. Well, they're looking for another fourth down conversion. They've already gotten one this drive. Finds his receiver. Touchdown. Makes it three scoring tosses for him. What I'm noticing more and more about this guy is he's very patient with the ball, and it's resulting in some nice scores, just like we've seen today. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 12-play, 73-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. So our score, 28-21. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20, and down he goes at the 24. The Tigers are on a roll right now, an absolute roll. 21 straight points, and the defense has no answer for it. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Clemson up seven points. Brought 
down at the 42-yard line. He gets out to about the 44-yard line. First down. Tackle made at the 22 yard line. Here's a handoff, left side. And down he goes at the 21 yard line. to about the 18-yard line. Third and five situation. Ball on the 18-yard line. Nice run, and he's brought down. Clemson is up seven. The kick is up, and the field goal is good. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So they're just about set to get the game going again. From their own 25-yard line. Second down. Rows left. The running back's got it. And he's taken down at about the 27-yard line. job by the offensive line to pick up the linebacker on the blitz. That gave the quarterback enough time to find his man for a nice game. He goes downtown. Almost intercepted. Well, you want to do everything you can to keep the ball out of the hands of these receivers. So that was a really good effort. There are two minutes to go in this football game. Just under two minutes in the game. He's pushed out of bounds at about the 45. Gain of 10 on the play. That makes it first and 10. Tight, tight, tight. Four down, four down. Mike 12. Mike 12. Let's go. Angle screen in five. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. Watch the slant. Rose middle of the tight end. He's taken down right around the 36 yard line. Quick throw for the 10. Spectacular play, and now it's first and goal. That makes it first and goal. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. Throws in a 
it's incomplete. You don't think these guys get aggressive when it counts? Terrific hit to prevent the score. That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the eight-yard line. He's got it out to his tight end. Touchdown, BC! Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? The draw within a field goal. He splits the uprights with the extra point. At the 42. Clemson's game plan couldn't have imagined things to go this well. They've scored 24 points in a row. Here we are late in the fourth quarter, and this is what this game has come down to. Every possession's going to count, and this could be the one right here. Just over a minute left. The halfback with a carry. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. From the 39-yard line, second down. They keep it on the ground with the tailback. Gets out to around the 25. I think the defense put everything into that sequence of plays. And for the offense to come up with a first down really is demoralizing for the defense. Nice run up the middle. The Eagles using their third and last timeout. From the 20-yard line, second down. Carries the ball for a nice game. And this should be a kneel down as they just try to kill the clock. He'll go down to one knee. in the books. The Tigers come out on top. 31-28. As we wrap this game up, Kirk, what final thoughts do you want to share? You just can't take anybody on your schedule for granted. Not even the biggest underdog. I'm sure they won't make that mistake again. Clemson did not necessarily play their best game, but they did survive anyway. Don't think for a second that just because you're favored big, the other guys can't stay with you for 60 minutes, because that's what we just saw. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.